Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saiken. We're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore. Um, uh, this is the highest difficulty. No um, reloads and only a single save game. Time for growth industry and another mission that will give us a couple of resources. We're still building up our B team. Matter of fact, we're actually quite resource rich lately. And uh, thanks to our uh, thanks to our uh, city built out we're doing quite well and by the way we didn't want to do growth um, industries we wanted to do essential personal yeah still we get resources but it's a better unrest control and we got the reflex grip yeah that's the mission that we wanted to do from the last mission we got crucial symmetry for shelter an epic weapon a nice smg and we bought some more uh, mag weaves, just as defensive items. Everyone still has uh, their med kits, and we're running the same B team that we were running uh, the last mission. So two um, encounters this time. Let's directly jump into it. Perfect. Then friendly VIP will be extracted. We're going to fight on a basketball-ish court. Successful shots will stun enemies. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Perfect. Let's start with Torque. Shelter, Claymore, and then Axiom. Let's go, guys. Good. Got a trooper, got a python, a bruiser, a cobra, and a paladin. Oh, plus a praetorian. Yeah, we gotta we gotta grab this guy with our tongue lash. For now, let's try to get rid of the obvious targets. We are dazing everyone. Nice little disorientation. Okay, at least everyone's disoriented and we killed one. That's the first of two encounters. The Praetorian can be quite painful if left unchecked. I mean, one of the things that we can do for sure is move in into a better position. And make sure that we get the guy. Bind ignores armor, so we're squeezing him very well. Good, time for us to relocate the Python, uh, Python. So much so that we have more time. And with our temporal, um, with our chain shots, we can one shot the bruiser. Very nice. That's exactly what I was looking for. Good. I have a present for you. See you later, Cobra. Well, that was not working as expected. Cobra was essentially walking right into us. And it was also ending the turn 
which I did uh, not understand that way. Okay, clearly not a good... Uh, we, we learned something out of it. I was under the impression it would not end the turn. But that's clearly not correct. That's one down. And that's two down. The shotguns can be pretty devastating if you hit. Alright, Torque needs to heal herself, no question. But thanks to the med kits, we're going to be fine. Don't and we continue to squeeze. Perfect. Good, let's grab the extra loot. And time to deal with the Paladin. That's a critical strike. And this will end the encounter. Plus we have a couple of unconscious enemies. Well done, guys, well done. Torque took some damage, but the rest is fine. Good. Last unit here will have its weapon disabled. We definitely don't want that. Yeah, that's a good order. We need Torque uh, relatively early and Shelter can still manipulate the timeline. Alright, what are we looking at? Surprised. Uh, faces one. Surprised Cobra. A Paladin. A Python. Python. And a Bruiser. Might want to deal with the Paladin first. Don't want to take any shots. There we go. Paladin down. Now time for the faceless one. Good shit. Yep, unfortunately the 90% shot missed. But the faces one is not the end of the world. There's your VIP. Get that hostage to safety. Okay, sure enough. I think uh, this here was the safety part. So we got an explosion here. Got a nice explosion over here. Put a shrapnel in here. Hitting the berserk plus the shrapnel. And that deals a lot of damage. Unfortunately, I've. Oh, well, not unfortunately. We still got the team up ability perfect. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. Yeah, let's just get rid of the Berserk. Damn it.
Cobra will eventually die. The python might die due to explosions. Yep. The answer is it is. Uh, it did. Holy shit, this group is coming in like a wrecking ball. Time to bind the bruiser. And time to deal with the Cobra. Thanks to its uh, delayed initiative, the combat is already over before it really began. Good, moving over here. As soon as we get close to the hostage, reinforcements will appear and I think we need to get out of here. Low on ammo. Weapon reloaded. Good, good old reload. Oh, I forgot we have the autoloader. Shouldn't have reloaded. I think that was the exit. Alright, Torque is slithering up. Go on, get out of here. So it's either this exit or we're getting back to the door. I don't think that that's the case though. Good, everyone's moving there. Watch me move. Okay, it was the other side. Damn it. Well, that's going to be a long sprint. Might as well at least put an overwatch over here. I think the first round we can still overwatch, sort of. Afterwards, it's probably not going to work anymore. I'm ready for him. Be ready for anything.
Yeah, let's get the hostage out of here. Like I said, round number one, still doable. Afterwards, it gets a little bit tedious. Cower or flee, your choice. I can still relocate over here afterwards so for shelter standing back here is not a big problem let's try to take out the trooper good reinforcements are dealt with Claymore is pretty damn slow, so let's just double move him. Torque moves up and... Let's take this here as an overwatch. Perfect. I'm counting on you. Make way. Tracking you. Axiom does the same. So I hope that we can again kind of eliminate at least one of them. Not even one, okay. Okay, so that's the advantage of the relocate that I was talking about earlier. And he can theoretically leave as of next turn. I am low on ammunition. Damn it. He is definitely slow. Moving. Check your fire. Moving up. Almost dry. Out of the way. And we can move Axiom out of here. So next turn we're just going to run out and that's then that's it. Good. Learning from this mission is you guys shouldn't camp the wrong entrance. Because as always, reinforcements will eventually just be overwhelming. There's not much you can do about it. Shelter moves out. Moving to location. Running out of ammunition. Claymore finally gets his massive rear out of here.
And everyone's out. Solid mission overall. But V Team has definitely a lot of mobility. That's what I appreciate about a Torque and um, Shelter together make for a lot of mobility. And if you have an Alpha Strike like I had it in, in this uh, last uh, encounter, damn. It's just, it's going down. They, they stood no chance. Good, got another reflex grip, that's perfect. 40 credits, that's uh, good. Another 20 intel and 30 alarium. skills engineers scientists and technicians put an end to the abduction so these people can return to their families all right training completed we got a wonderful training for safer uh, Sephir uh, completed he has returned fire which I really like because if you take a look at uh, at his skill uh, set, he now, whenever take, he takes fire, he refires essentially back. So if you can stack dodge and have the shield on top of it, and he's um, and he's kind of in a tough spot, he can take a lot of heat and still fire back. Then kind of reshield himself, um, fan fire, and uh, again continue to uh, return fire. So if they take him as the main uh, threat, then you can dish out a lot of damage. Speaking about which, Shirop now can also start gathering more intel. It seems that that resource is by far the most scarce one. Everything seems to cost intel. We got a promotion, by the way, uh, for Ax Axiom. Smash and Psych Up, do not end the turn. Oh, that's a cool one. So here's the thing. I don't know if I've explained it, but uh, he has a rage mechanic. Uh, and there's a hidden rage kind of um, stack building up uh, whenever he's being hit. And uh, the rage can go up to, I think, five is the maximum that I've seen so far, but might be even higher than that. Um, and as soon as it reaches, quote, unquote, a critical level, usually around three stacks, four and five, um, uh, are more likely though, uh, he will start losing his shit and just running for the next enemy and hitting him. Basically giving you a bonus um, action whilst doing it. Smash can generate rage, but you also have a rage ability that can generate rage. With um, that ability, once you launch it, you can essentially start uh, piling up uh, the rage counter. So what I usually do is just get three rage stakes going. And then he's all fired up. And the next time he gets hit, there's a pretty solid chance that he will lose it and essentially just completely go apeshit on the enemy. Um, I think we got a couple of other items still. Did we get any extra items? Oh yeah, I remember, we got some extra items and ooh, and we got some scars. Will reduce by 15, well, that is not the worst that could happen. Normally I'm um, immediately um, removing scars, but will reduce by 15 only as affected when we're fighting against psychic characters. I'm going to uh, put the reflex grip on the enhanced uh, SMG. That way she can take a shot then tongue pull and then um, and uh, then begin to grip again. She can then again loosen the grip, take a shot and start gripping, uh, gripping again, uh, further increasing her DPS. That's pretty good. I like where it's going. I don't like the wound though. That's a bit nasty. Okay, so we finally got, by the way, um, everything 
uh, leveled up. So, and we got the breach, um, the breach items, which is great. So time for us to to shop a bit further. And let's maybe start with the submachine guns, because to be honest, a lot of our characters use submachine guns. Might as well start um, crafting them right away. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I think we could we could uh, join him once the training is done. Good, we got three new items. Medipad, uh, patches are specialized. Uh, uh, squads can recreate quickly before pressing on. Heals everyone for two at the breach point, and that's definitely worth uh, uh, 75. I'm even considering buying maybe a second one. Holder scanner is pretty good as well. Um, all enemies, um, so Holder sc uh, scanner allows you to target every single enemy. Um, at the breach point, also the na nasty codex, uh, codices, but I personally like the target analyzer better because it'll give you a uh, plus 50% crit chance, uh, so you get a lot of high hits um, out of it. So we're getting one of those as well. And that's about it. I don't want to spend more money um, for now. You know what? Let's get one more Medi patch. Uh, because this group here really doesn't have any um, medical treatment. So might as well, since we really did not have anything, could also just take the medipatch and the medipatch and target analyzer. That should be fine. You know what? We give it to Axiom. That means he has something that he can do. And since um, since Claymore is opening walls from time to time, might as well give the target analyzer over to Torque. Okay, I was shortly thinking about buying an access card because they don't have um, the ability to open side, uh, side um, tracks, but it's fine. I think we're going to be okay. Investigate a strange device is going to be our next day that we're investing. Scavenger market is up today. And we either got an advanced 600 magazine, another reflex grip. We, I think we got enough reflex grips. Or, um, or we're increasing our subdue damage to five. Yeah. To four to five it is. I mean, whilst I appreciate the idea behind it, you can might as well just take Trank, trank rounds. So everything here is fine. Let's take a look at the map and take a close look what we want to do. We're probably going to do this because we can't afford another unrest. And this mission here would give us intel, Elarium, and we would continue to be without unrest. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. If I theoretically was to upgrade that. Yeah, we don't need the Operation Reveal Point. That is really not necessary for us at the moment. So we can leave the Technology Rings at rank 2 for now. I'd rather upgrade the Security. By the way, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, rank 3. Nice, that's almost two-thirds of the city. Once we upgrade the next one, we have two-thirds of the city upgraded to, to rank three. In hindsight, if I was to do it again, I would probably put another intel here, 
and less um, less elarium. We've overdone it a bit. We've overdone it a bit. Okay, cool. Anyways, that brings us to the end of today's uh, mission. Next time we're going to look into Old Town and uh, we'll do Operation Secret Stash. For now, I say thank you. Have a great day. Keep liking and commenting these videos and see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.